Governor Newsom went on The View today to talk about the recall efforts against him. And joining me now to talk more about this is political analyst Steve Swat. Steve, thanks for being here. You know, Governor Newsom said that he is worried about the recall efforts, but said it's more about the political values in California. One thing I did find interesting was he said this recall effort started before the pandemic. So what's at play here? Is it politics or is it his response to the pandemic? Well, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it depends on which side you're talking to. But, you know, it is smart, I believe, smart politically for Governor Newsom to uh, take on the Republican Party and uh, former President Trump as being uh, really behind this uh, recall effort, because you have to realize that in California, Republicans are almost an endangered species and Trump still is very toxic. Uh, he, he received all of, what, 34 percent of the vote uh, last November. Uh, not only that, some news organizations have come out with stories uh, indicating that a number of uh, leaders in the recall effort have ties to white supremacist groups and far right militias. And so it makes sense, I believe, for Governor Newsom politically to make this campaign about the backers of the recall instead of his own administration. When he says he's worried about this, but then you, you see who's uh, funding and behind this recall effort, according to him, is this something he should be concerned about? It is the sixth time a recall effort has tried to happen, but it sounds like this one is garnering enough support and signature. Yeah, I mean, Californians have been trying to recall governors for decades and decades, and 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 he's right. This is the sixth effort to get him out, but this one uh, has uh, sort of caught fire, and it caught fire primarily, I think, because it started out as a list of grievances against uh, a Democratic governor. And uh, it caught fire because of the pandemic and his response to the pandemic and his, uh, his uh, dinner at the, the French Laundry and the, the vaccination schedule and opening up the, the state and things like that. Uh, but he should be worried because it's really a kind of a crapshoot. It's, it's really different. Uh, you could have a situation where a number of people say, you know, I'm just kind of tired of uh, Governor Newsom. Let's give somebody else a try. And then there may be 20 or 30 or back in, 19, in, uh, in 2003, there were well over 100 uh, other candidates on the ballot to replace him. And that means you could have a split vote and someone could get 20% of the vote and perhaps be the next governor. When it comes to the pandemic and what we're all facing here in California, you talk about the massive failures at EDD. You talk about the unemployment rates being so, uh, so high right now and just the trajectory of the restrictions in place, the whiplash business owners are facing. Yeah. How much do you think that is playing into it now, into this recall effort, and how much should Governor Newsom change his tone when it comes to our restrictions in California? Uh, well, I think this is really the crux of the recall efforts uh, against Governor Newsom, and they, they do have a list of grievances. Now, I will say that according to uh, the head of the Public Policy Institute of uh, California, according to his polling, he indicates that most of the people who are in favor of this recall didn't like Governor Newsom to start with. And this effort really did start in many degrees before the pandemic. And so you're talking about the uh, the, the, the governor's response to uh, homelessness and the unemployment rate. and uh, uh, immigration and all sorts of other issues are on, on the table. Uh, but that's why the governor believes that and is saying publicly that this was a sort of an effort, a Republican effort from the beginning to get him out of office and that they're using the pandemic as an excuse. He also admits that he's made some, some mistakes, but he believes basically this is a, a right wing effort to remove a Democrat from office. And it is the first time we are seeing him launch a campaign to fight this and something that is very uh, out there. I mean, you, you're seeing the website, you're seeing the rhetoric being used. Uh, could you talk to me about that, the importance that he's acknowledging this recall effort and is now going to, in his words, fight back? Yeah, uh, you know, you go back a month or so, and he basically did not acknowledge the effort. He says, I'm not worried about it. I'm just running the state of California. But now he has to worry about it because it looks like it will be on the ballot. And what is interesting is that when you run a campaign, it's all about messaging. 
And so you have to make sure that your messages are received by the brain and by the voter. And so that means you have to repeat them over and over again. And look what he has done in the last few days. He had an interview uh, yesterday and he talked about the right wing militias and the right wing uh, Republicans who are trying to get him out of office and destroy California values. He has an online ad that says exactly the same thing. Today he goes on the view, or view and says exactly the same thing. So repeating these messages over and over again uh, are what you should do in a campaign. And obviously he is in full campaign mode right now. And Steve, my last question for you, what can Governor Newsom do right now to improve the position Californians have on, on him and his policies? I think the best thing he can do is to do his job and to do a good job of it because uh, inevitably that's what so many voters uh, will be casting a, a ballot about. And so if he does his job, if he gets the vaccine uh, rollout moving uh, you know, smoother, uh, we open up the schools, by the time this election will, will hit, perhaps in November, much of the dark days of the pandemic will be behind us and uh, out of the minds of many voters. And I think he'll have a much better chance of success.